Hi everyone. In this video tutorial, I'll be showing you how to add different page numbers in a Microsoft Word document by creating different section breaks. I hope this video tutorial will be helpful for you while creating proposals, reports, and other documents that require different page numbers on a single document file. So here is the list of things that I'll be covering in this video. First, we'll be creating different sections using section break. After creating sections, we'll be adding page numbers to those sections and later we'll format those page numbers as required. As a bonus, I'll also be showing how to add table of contents automatically to get pages with their respective page numbers in just a number of clicks. To start this video tutorial, I have a proposal here written in Microsoft Word 2016. In this document file, we'll be adding different page numbers by creating three different sections. Let me also tell you how some people are doing it wrong. I have seen some people creating different document files for different sections, giving them page numbers separately and later merging it into one single document. Sad part about this is they are also creating table of contents manually. Creating table of contents manually is another big problem when you need to add more pages in the document. But don't worry, this video will give you all the procedures you need to follow to give different page numbers in your Word file. Here is an overview of how we will be dividing sections in our document file. For this tutorial, we'll have three different sections. Section one will include cover pages. Usually cover pages are not given any page numbers. Section two will include pages like acknowledgement later, abstract, and table of contents. Depending on nature of your document, sometimes you will also require pages like list of abbreviation, list of figures, and list of tables. All these pages are to be included in section 2. Section 3, however, will include all the remaining pages after a table of contents. If you have pages like list of abbreviation, figures, and tables, then section 3 starts after these pages. First page of section 3 is our chapter 1 page. Now let's move into our Microsoft Word file and create sections. So you can see I have a proposal over here. Now let's add a section after our cover pages. We have two cover pages and we need this cover page on our first section that is section one. To create and add first section break, let's click on the end of the page second and go to layout and choose break. Inside break, you can see section breaks and you can choose next page so what happens over here is when you double click on the footer section you can see the first the second and first cover pages are on section one while we have also created another section called section two let's close uh, header and footer for a while and move this to over here now we also need another section for, to hold pages like approval certificates, uh, abstract and other table of content pages. Click on the end of the last page you want to have on your second section and go to layout. Inside break again choose next page. Now when you double click on the section or uh, footer section you can see you we have section 3 added as a new section. Let's close header and footer for a while and bring everything on over here. So now we have three sections on our Word file. Now it's time to add page number. Because we don't want to add page number on our cover pages, so we can leave it as it is. And to add page number on our section 2, you can double click on the footer, 
go to page number bottom of the page and select any layout you want so what we need to do is you can see we, there are page number on our cover pages as well to remove those page number what we need to do is we need to click on link to previous so that uh, our first page of the section 2 will be this now we can delete these page numbers from our cover pages and we'll only have page number on section 2 and other pages again let's close the header and footer for a while now what we can do is we can click over here and disable link to previous now it's time to format our page numbers because we don't want 3 and 4 to be a random page number for our approval certificate and abstract right so let's let's choose this and go inside page number and choose format page number on the number format let's choose roman letters and let's choose start from i so now we have this section with page number that starts from i and here we have page number that starts with three so let's change this as well to change again go inside page number and choose format page numbers and we choose to start from one now we can close our header sections now as you can see we have different page number for our different sections for our cover page we do not have any page numbers for our approval certificate and abstract we have page number that starts with roman number i and for our chapters we have page number that starts with number one now as i mentioned earlier that i'll also be showing you how to add a table of contents automatically on your word document uh, on this section I'll be showing you how to do that so as we all know we need to have table of content on our second section so let, let's create a new page in our second section to create a new page you can uh, click uh, control and enter this will create a new page on the same section you can see uh, it has page numbering on a Roman letter to insert a table of content what we need to do is we need to go inside the references on table of content we choose formats for our table of content so here are three different formats one is automatic two are automatic and another is manual table so let's click on the first automatic table as you can see now it has created our table of content page with all the page numbers already included on this file. Now you, you, you can choose to format uh, the heading of table of content page to match your uh, ongoing format for the document. So here is one example of how uh, adding uh, automatic table of content page will make your work more easier so let's go on our chapter 2 page and just uh, before the start of chapter 3 let's create a new page and add a second heading called literature introduction this is just a sample and let's give it as heading 1 let's remove 2.1 from here now what happens is we have added a new page after page number seven right so let's see on our table of content what we had is our tools and methodology was on page number eight previously now it has changed and moved to page number nine as you can see over here so to so to get new updates of your page numbering on this document what you can do is you can click on update table and choose update entire table 
so this will add your new heading on the table of content and it will also change the page numbering to match your current or updated version of the document okay this was all for this video tutorial before we end this video let's uh, do a quick revision on what we covered today so we created three different sections on the first section we included two of our cover pages on our second section we had approval certificate abstract and our table of content and similarly on third section of our word document we have the core part of our report and we also created a table of content where uh, pages and headings were automatically updated to match the uh, revision and changes on our word file i hope this video will become helpful for every one of you who is trying to create report and proposal for your college and job and having problem giving different page numbers on your word file if you like this video please don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this and also don't forget to like and share this video thank you